Hey guys, Mars Singing here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, and today we are jumping into the GT Legendary Goku event to try out Videl and see just how good she can be in... I guess this was the hardest event in the game, I guess it's kind of the different stages of the God event now, but we did take her into one of the God event stages yesterday, so taking her into all the difficult endgame content here and I decided for this video because we've done the last couple of videos of her using her lead and using her team build I thought we would try her out on one of the other big teams that she is on which is of course the Majin Buu Saga team I think I'll probably do a different build to this one but I'll probably do a video of her in Majin Buu Saga Extreme Super Battle Road as well because she's definitely a unit that can be very very useful in Super Battle Road but yeah I wanted to try out a different team here especially because the Peppy Gal Sash Defenders of Justice team build it has a lot of units on it that I think would be really good um, for this event but then it also has a lot of units that I don't think are that great for this event because they're not the best like defensively or what have you so this is a very bad rotation, unfortunately, with the uh, TN not linking up particularly well, slash at all, with the uh, guys here. Do they they probably, I should have double checked, but I think they might literally only have Fierce Battle. But, I mean, fortunately, the STR Vegito is uh, strong enough. I went from having no dupes in mine at the start of the anniversary to having him rainbowed. I also got all the way to the anniversary, almost a full year since his release, without having a single copy of this physical TN. And then before pulling, eventually, my copy of Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, I think I ended up pulling two copies of him. So he does have a dupe. Um, so he's going to be supporting all the super type Majin Buu Saga allies. He does also have quite a few good links with Videl, so that will work out quite nicely. And uh, yeah, this is the rotation we're going to run, Videl with Ultimate Gohan. Um, Fierce Battle and Cold Judgment are the only links that they share. So, I mean, that is everyone's primary complaint with Videl, but I think one of the reasons why she is as good as she is is even with that bad set of links. Um, like, turn one, 2.6 million attack with a guaranteed additional. So, I mean, she's putting out the damage even though she's only got two links activated. So, that is pretty good. Uh, be interesting to see on the rotation where we get TN into slot 3. We'll go ahead and put Gohan in slot 1. And see what kind of difference those extra links. Plus obviously the support that he gives to super type Majin Buu Saga allies. See how that factors into her overall power. And look at this. Gohan not wanting to be out shadowed by his girlfriend here. Getting an additional super attack as well. So high school Gohan. Whilst he's not the most damaging unit in the game by any means. I think we can probably finish off there. Yeah. I was worried for a second he actually wasn't going to because uh, High School Gohan is a fantastic unit, but a unit for dealing damage, he is most certainly not. So, oh, they have experienced fighters. Do they have experienced fighters? They do. So, I'm going to put Vegito in slot two just because there are more attacks there. I know, obviously, Goku and Vegeta have uh, damage reduction, but I'd rather put them in front of the less attacks if possible. Um, also, remember TN, not only does he support, but he's giving 50% defense support to the super type Majin Buu Saga allies. So that is a huge buff. Um, obviously, we want Goku and Vegeta here to be getting crits if we want to deal any sort of real damage. Um, I gave them a pretty decent mix of crits and additionals. Yeah, they, you can see the massive difference in damage. Um, of course, we get supered on them. Uh, <laughs> Put them in front of the lesser attacks, get super attacked, but fortunately they do have damage reduction pre-transformation, uh, so we don't have to worry too much about that. We also, of course, have the potential to get the free heal from the Vegito fusion at some point during the course of the event, so that's definitely going to come in handy. Um, oh, and we get the active skill activating now, okay. So Videl is not going to get a chance to get her... Um, stuff to activate here so do I want to put her in slot one I think this early in the event I think it's worth testing out actually we'll see how much damage she's going to take because obviously she's going to double super which means we get the double defense raise so let's see how much damage she actually takes from this Goku hopefully he doesn't super and of course her dodge chance isn't cancelled out by this Goku so there is the potential that she takes no damage at all 
But, of course, by not getting uh, a dodge in the first slot before she attacks, we obviously don't have the attacks effective against all types. So by not getting crits, we don't really do much damage with her, which is a shame. Double digit damage from normals. We don't dodge the super. 200k from a super. Okay. I mean, unfortunately, type disadvantage and obviously the defense lowering effect like thrown in doesn't help. But, um, yeah, that is a, quite a bit of damage. But... Goku and Vegeta are going to be able to come in here and finish off uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Is this where we're at now? I think it is. Oh, well, yeah. Wow. We're already at turn 6. So, I'm just going to get the Vegito fusion straight off the bat here. Um, I don't think I'll go ahead and transform the other Vegito just yet. So, I mean, I always call them Vegito, but you guys know what I mean. The LR... Goku and Vegeta, so get them a full 24 key super, get an 18 key super for you as well. I mean, this is going to be a pretty strong turn, because we got the free heal, we couldn't, couldn't get a super for Gohan, but he's providing some nice support here. And look at that, we get the level 3 dodge from a normal attack, and then of course, we got to take the super attack, so <laughs> I'm not even surprised at this point, but the uh, ra newly rainbowed LR Goku and Vegeta are going to do some nice damage here. And obviously the normal attacks, we don't take anything really. We've got 500k HP on this team. So, I mean, we're not in danger of uh, getting one shot by a super until pretty much like the final stage. Or, of course, the Ozaru. Uh, if he decides to uh, super attack one of our physical units, that would be very unfortunate. Uh, we'll see how that plays out here after we finish off the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So we got TN on rotation. So what links do they actually share? Cold Judgment, Courage, and Fierce Battle. That's pretty good. So in between the two, we get... Is it just... Actually, wait. What are we getting extra here? So it's just Courage. And what is Courage giving uh, Videl at level 3? So I've started to level her links, but as you can see, they're not like crazy high level or anything. So level 3, key 1, and attack 2%. Eh, I think we can miss out on the 2% to try and get her... Oh, never mind. Does TN... I thought TN gave key. I'm very disappointed to, uh, he only gives the Majin Buu Saga allies attack and defense. So that is, of course, this is where the issues come in here for the Videl. Uh, we are unable to get a super attack with her unless we put her in the middle here. So if we do this, this should drop the STR orbs down. Hopefully Gohan doesn't get the kill. But, but yeah, that's where the wonky links definitely come in. I actually completely forgot that TN doesn't give key, so I'm glad to have him on the team for that little bit of extra support, but I feel like when you're running Videl, you definitely want support units that are giving key, just to uh, avoid situations like this where you can't get the super attack. But So we're not going to see crazy numbers out of her here, obviously 55%, she's not getting the extra parts of her passive to activate. But she does infinitely stack attack, so we obviously want her to be super attacking as much as possible. So that by the time we get to the end, her attack stat is looking nice. And we get the crit as well, so I mean that's some big damage there. And we move on to the Ozaru. So we're basically on full health, we've got damage reduction. The only way this turn goes badly for us here is if Super Vegito takes a super attack. But we shouldn't get one shot, we've got a lot of HP, so... Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to get the Dokon attack next turn. So I think what we'll probably do is we'll use an item and then put Videl in slot 1. Get the Dokon attack with her. Hopefully she'll get a dodge and get hit. Um, so we can get her full passive because that would obviously be uh, a very strong turn for her. Very good damaging Dokon attack. Because we're going to deal some decent damage this turn. Um, okay, doesn't super super for Geo. Good. Get the counter. No crit though, so the counter doesn't do any damage. And then the friend Goku Vegeta, they're also rainbow. So by supering and raising their defense, they shouldn't get one shot if he super attacks them. Okay, he didn't super attack. Perfect. Alright, and there's two attacks in slot one as well. So ideally, we want these two attacks in slot one to be one dodge and one attack connecting. Because then we can get the full passive active. We are going to go ahead and use a Whis just in case. And so let's see what happens here. So we get the dodge and we get hit. Let's go. So full passive activated for the Dokon attack. Uh, let's make sure we hit the nodes here. Oh no, it's going way too fast. 
Um, Alright, well we got most of them. So decent enough damage multiplier. 3.8 million on her attack. So of course the guaranteed additional super will go up to probably just over 4 million actually. So let's see what damage we can do here. We don't get the crit but 3.5 and then yeah she's up to 4.1 million attack. Which I mean she's 55% so that's pretty good. And then here comes the super. Can we dodge? We don't dodge. 87k after double defense raised from two supers and a Whis active. Still taking 87k. So a little bit unfortunate. But hey, at least it wasn't in the first slot before we uh, before we got the defense raises off. That would have been pretty awkward. But Alright, so we're going to finish off um, finish him off this turn. Do we take the risk that he doesn't super attack in slot 1? I think we do. I mean, we got the defense buff from TN, so, like, Vegito has 220k defense, which is pretty good. So, if we go ahead and do this, and then we should be all good to finish him off here. Can we get a crit counter? Yeah, there we go. Just shy of a million damage. And then 2.42 on his 12 key super. Can we get another crit counter? Ah, uh, no crit. I mean, yeah, that's still okay damage. But yeah, Goku and Vegeta can come in here. 4.6 million attack stat for them. So they are going to finish off the Azaru here, I would imagine. Yep, crit to seal the deal. And we move on to the first Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So what is our defense looking like here for Videl? 139k. That's not a lot. Um, I'm very like I'm very concerned about putting her in slot one because if we get super attacked in slot one Then I feel like we do actually stand a reasonable chance of getting killed But I also want to see like the numbers and stuff she's gonna put out especially with the different areas of her passive activated So do we go ahead and transform Gohan here? What is his defense looking like now? 565k um, We'll get one more stack off with him. Why not? And then we'll do this. So we're on full HP. So if we do die here, that will be very unfortunate. 28k. Oof. So dodge this, please. Ah, oh, Videl. What are you doing? 331. Can we actually get some dodges? No dodges, apparently. Okay. So no dodges. So we don't have the effective against all types. So we got the attack buff. So 3.8. And then 4. Point, oh, well, 4.0. So without support, you can see the... Uh, the bonus to her attack is obviously not as high. Um, and then now we take double digits. So that's great. Taking double digit damage against the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is really, really good. But having to uh, having to get hit by the Super for that much damage that early on is not ideal. So I think Videl... Um, because you want to put her in slot 1 to get those extra parts of her passive active, I definitely think her defensive skill orb is going to be good for her. I gave mine a bronze level 2 additional, but I think maybe a bronze level 5 defense is probably better once you get dupes and then can start actually giving her additional uh, from the hidden potential system. But let's go ahead and do this, why not? It's been a while since we've... Uh, actually, I think since I rainbowed the uh, STR Vegito. I think this is the first time I'm using them um, and fusing. So this of course is going to give us the advantage of seeing the super attacks which is going to massively help out for the rest of the event. So no super attack this turn. That's what we want to see. So Alright well this is going to be a very solid turn for our boys here. <laughs> All right, take it away. Let me see this uh, this counter damage. So 5,000 is all we take pre-super, where he's, of course, going to uh, become better. 6.4. <laughs> okay. Like I said, this is my first time using him since rainbowing him. So 6.4 on his uh, 18 key super here. And then, yeah, now we're just going to take double-digit damage. If we don't crit counter, we still do 675k. That's not too bad. Come on, give me some crits. There we go. Two. Wow. I was going to say, what, 1.5 maybe? 2 million damage if we get a crit counter. That is. Uh, damn, that's like three times the damage. <laughs> so that is what we like to see. And then Int Super, Int Super Vegito, the uh, 
the previous version, I guess. He's uh, still going to be very good defensively here. Hey, I mean, he's crit counter in for 1.7 million, so he's no slouch. He gets the double crit counter, so that's a big damage. We like to see that. Okay. And then we still are going to have the super attack viewing thing uh, ready for next turn. So this does make it a little bit safer for us to put Videl in slot 1 if there's no super. If there is a super in slot 1, I don't think I will put her there. Okay, the super's at the end, so that's perfect. So, do this. And then we'll just give Gohan... Well, Videl's going to finish him off, so we don't need to super attack with Gohan. And then those for you. So... Videl's getting the extra 50% defense from TN. She gets the dodge, so no attack buff, but she's effective against all types. So that should mean with the double super here, she should take out Goku. <sighs> Tiny sliver of health. Good thing we get the guaranteed additional, isn't it? But there you go. Videl Rush takes out Super Saiyan 4 Goku. See you later. And we move on to full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So this is where it will start to get a bit tricky because... We definitely don't want to be taking super attacks. I think we'll leave them untransformed because that will help them tank all these attacks in the final slot here. So we'll go ahead and do this. I guess actually really with the type advantage I probably should have put uh, Int Vegito in slot 1. But we should be all good here. We got, what, 80% HP? So I don't think we have to worry too much. 37k is still quite a bit, but... We're going to be all good. We really need to get crit counters against this man, though, to actually deal good damage. Or, you know, he just dodges the counter and takes no damage. But... Okay, 5.6 without support. Not bad. He didn't dodge this. So, eat the super Kamehameha. We get the additional. Yeah, we do. Let's go. 3.6 on his 12 key, and then he dodges. Okay. Not quite what we want to see, but... Hey, there we go. There's a crit counter. 2 million. Okay. It's pretty good. 2 million damage on a counter. That's what we like to see. And then Int Vegito. At least we've got type advantage with him now. So he's going to look a little bit more impressive. Especially when he crits for 3.3 million. We'd love to see that. And then, yeah, just shy of a million with no crit on the counter. 2 million from a crit counter. I mean, look at that. The two Vegitos together have done almost half of full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku's HP in one turn. That's pretty good. <laughs> And then, obviously, the slot free one. He's, he doesn't want to be seen as any kind of slouch either. So we get the additional super from the double... Was that double crit supers as well? So look at this man's HP bar right now. We've done over half of his health in one turn. Thanks to the uh, two Vegitos. So... I really want to risk this, but I don't want Videl to get destroyed. But... I think we're going to do this. And I, oh, we can't put her in slot one. God damn it. Her and these damn key issues. I really wanted to use her active skill and put her in slot 1. But if I put her in slot 1, she can't super attack. So we'll go ahead and transform all the Gohan. Man, that's so annoying. I really wanted to uh, to play that off there with the Videl transformation. Oh, it's not really a transformation, but the Videl active skill and then get the KO. Well... I say get the KO. He's got a lot of HP left, but we are unable to do that now. So we can go ahead and do this. Um, I think we will still go ahead and use Videl's active skill because this is going to give her the permanent attack boost and defense nerf. So she's not going to be getting any of the extra parts of her passive, but considering how strong this team is, Videl might not get another turn. So I think we do kind of have to go ahead and do this here. Um, and then I think we will heal heal up and use a Princess Snake because with the dodging disabled now, if uh, we get unlucky here, we could be in trouble. I mean, the super attack we can see is at the end against um, High School Gohan. So we should be fine. Actually, I guess I didn't really need to use that, but um, it's all good. For a second, I actually forgot that <laughs> I could see the super attack animations until I literally used the item and then noticed that the super attack icon was in the third spot. So that is a brain fail from me. But I am recording this after having been awake for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to blame that. <laughs> 
For those of you who were there, shout out to 5.9 Gaming. I was uh, up super late last night. I played some Dead by Daylight on the 5.9 Gaming Twitch with uh, Zilch, Truforia, Iggy, and Stacy. That was pretty funny. But, I mean, that's still a pretty solid attack stat there from Videl. She is in slot two as well, so she gets the guaranteed additional. Is she going to finish him off here? 5.1. If she gets a crit, I think it's GG. Oh, so close. And we didn't get the additional come in from her skill orbs. That would have been such a great finish there. And yeah, unfortunately, um, high school Gohan, not quite able to get the job done, considering he is not a damage dealing unit. But look at that, 4,000 damage. So let's let Vegito here get the... Uh, Get the final blow, hopefully with a crit counter. That will be the perfect uh, end here. So I'm just going to do this and then do this. So here we go, Vegito. Can we crit counter this man to death? Yeah, we can. So crit counter, 1.5 million. See you later. And there you go. So that was Videl in the legendary Goku event at 55%. So pretty good. Uh, the only problem I would say with her is in this kind of harder content, unless you're going to use an item or you've got like the Super Vegito effect active so you can see the supers, you've got to be very careful because she is built around, to get the most performance out of her, you want to put her in slot 1 so she can get the dodges and get hit to get all those extra buffs. But in an event like this where you've got like full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku attacking 5 times in slot 1, then putting a 55% Videl in slot 1 is a little bit on the dangerous side. But let me know what you guys think. Videl is definitely good. Um, you know, she's good really only on a couple of teams. But she definitely does put in the work. So let me know what you guys think of her down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.